Hi, this is Anand Bharti from TFIR and welcome to the data of TFIR Daily News. The first story today is that Samsung is killing its Linux efforts on Samsung devices. Samsung has announced that it will kill Linux on disk with Android 10 rollout. Those who don't know, Samsung DeX is an operating system that side loads when you connect your Samsung devices like Galaxy phones to a monitor then you get a totally different interface on the monitor where you can plug a keyboard in the mouse and use the device as a regular desktop. You do not see the Android user interface. Instead, you see a full-fledged interface that is optimized for desktop environment. Earlier, Samsung was using Android, but then it also ran a beta to run full-fledged Linux-based uh, interface. They work with Canonical. To offer this platform but it seems that either users were not happy or Samsung did not get the desired results that it wanted from the limited users that it was testing with. Uh, so as we reported Samsung has reportedly sent out emails to a relatively small number of its customers that it's shutting down the Linux on desk aka Linux on Galaxy beta program. The South Korean company warned users that it would no longer provide support for the program for future operating systems and devices. Samsung also said that its Android 10 update won't support using the open source operating system as a desktop environment. It's not clear yet as to why the tech giant decided to end its Linux on desk beta program after only 11 months of its launch. Remember, Samsung joined hands with Canonical last year for this platform, which turns your phone into a PC. Here is what Samsung said, or Samsung told to 9to5Google. Thank you for supporting Linux on Dex Beta. The development of Linux on Dex was all thanks to customer interest and valuable feedback. Unfortunately, we are announcing the end of our beta program and will no longer provide support on future OS and devices. Note, Linux on Dex will not be supported on Android 10 beta. Once you update your device to Android OS 10, you will not be able to perform a version rollback to Android Pie. If you decide to update your device to Android 10 beta, we recommend backing up data before updating. That's what Samsung told to 9to5Google website. It's, it's, I think it's sad news for Linux users because Samsung, if I'm not wrong, is the only major brand that tried to bring Linux, and I'm talking about the traditional legacy desktop environment, to consumer space. There are a lot of companies which are which still offer Linux on desktop, companies like Dell, but those devices are targeted at developers. This was more or less targeted at consumers and I am assuming though Samsung did not give any reasons why they are discontinuing it is that people I'm sure may were not able to use Microsoft Office documents and a lot of other application that they rely on when they use desktop. The big problem here is that when you use a desktop you expect a certain application and certain experience out of your machine. That's why you invest in that platform. So a lot of people might be thinking that they will get the same experience on the desktop that they get with their Windows machine. And that might have been a reason that the kind of feedback that Samsung received from the users that compelled Samsung to discontinue the beta program. Thanks, that was our first story for our beta daily news. See you in the next news item. And let us know what you think about these small clips where we update you with the news item immediately. Thank you.